icon. Today I want to bring your attention to a problem that has been affecting a local community, East New York, Brooklyn. There has been a significant rise in a crime committed on the New York City subway system. New York City is home to the largest public transportation systems in the U.S. As residents of this moving city, we all know how important NTA is in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. Students, teachers, and members of our community rely on this transportation service daily. In fact, according to a school survey, 80% of our community utilizes MTA daily. According to the New York State Office of Mental Health, the number of combined local hospital and state psychiatric center beds has dropped steadily over the last decade, from 4,889 in 2012 to 4,121 in 2019, right before the COVID-19 pandemic. That leaves New York City a population of 8.5 million with just 4,130 inpatient psychiatric beds. When these beds are filled, many of our most vulnerable populations go to the sub. Recent studies have shown that the lack of care and the lack of appropriate treatment and response has led to that surge. Our school surveys show that 31% of our students and adults felt unsafe and about 40% were unsure about their safety while taking the train. Almost every week there are reports of uncomfortable incidents that occur on the subway and even worse. Reporting these incidents are very difficult because of the poor service underground and lack of trained people to respond. More than half of our school population has either experienced mental health firsthand or knows someone who has suffered a crisis. This is why we created SubSafe. SubSafe aims to reduce the amount of crimes in NYC subways and provide the appropriate response to mental health emergencies. Equally important, we want to increase awareness amongst commuters about mental health and even support those who are experiencing an emergency. Initially, we designed an electronic smart sign to be installed on each subway post with a red sensor to alert emergencies and a green sensor to identify mental health episodes. But after our ongoing meeting with the NTA, we have now redesigned our project. We will be adding an additional yellow button to the already established MTA help post to mobilize mental health crisis team to access and assist emergency response teams with de-escalation. We will have the opportunity to also use the app to support commuters in crisis or those being victimized. Users will be able to fully document incidents that will be routed to the city, mobilize teams fully equipped and be able to assist the mental health crises and intake instead of all the calls being routed to 911 or the NYPD. The app will also have access to direct FAQs, content information and local emergencies and psychiatric support centers and a direct link to the MTA schedule and website. I'm wrong. Since the MTA kind of already has some infrastructure in terms of getting direct personnel, right, um, for, for, for emergencies, you know, why don't you just add on to it, right, in terms of the idea, right? So you have button one, button two, let's just add button three, and that helps with the mental health capacity, if I'm, if I'm wrong. Correct. The three would be